what is up everybody welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while since i've posted a video but i plan on posting some more in the near future about this which is a project i've been working on for the past couple of weeks about how to make a soccer game slash football game in unity i'm also going to sell this on the unity asset store as well as on my patreon so if you're seeing this in the future go check out my patreon i'll put a link in the description and if i get it on the asset store i'll put a link to the asset store as well i may go ahead and put it on my patreon now but if i do and you decide to purchase it it. just know that this is still a work in progress and there's still tons i've got to do but we've got a pretty good foundation for making something pretty cool i think so yeah you can see we got the ai working pretty good better than any ai i've made in the past although it still needs a lot of work and a lot of refinement but like i said it's definitely a start and it's pretty pretty fun to play see i'm just using capsules little capsule ducks don't have any animations yet don't have any sounds yet don't have any particle systems so it still needs a lot of polish but with the way that we're building it adding all that stuff in later shouldn't be that bad the most challenging part has been the ai i'm going to be bringing y'all some videos i've actually already already recorded a lot of the videos but to be completely honest it's not the most detailed tutorials it's not going to take you through line by line and tell you exactly how to make every little thing because that would just take forever and it's just not the way that i like to make tutorials the way i do it is i'll do a little bit and then i'll make a video and review the changes i've made but as soon as we get to the ai things just kind of get really crazy and messy or not messy but just really complex and it's hard it's really hard to make a tutorial going over every little thing i did to make the ai so once we reach the ai stage doubt that i'm going to be bringing y'all any videos on how to do it how to do that part but i will be bringing y'all about 20 videos or so about how to make the basics of a soccer game i've made a series in the past about how to make a soccer game slash football game in unity but it really wasn't the best i feel like i could have done a lot better or i feel like i can do a lot better so that's why i did this so yeah it's pretty cool and what's what's really cool about this is that it's really dynamic so we can add in as many players as we want and it's actually pretty funny or pretty fun to add in a bunch of players and it's just really chaotic i'll show you all that in just a second um but yeah we got goalies we got the ai working so it needs a lot of work i can't believe i can't score a goal right now zero to zero let's I just want to see if I can end up winning this game. And actually, the game will never end. Like, even when the time reaches zero, it'll just go on forever. I haven't I haven't done that part yet. I still got to, like, structure the actual, like, game manager to, one, end the game, two, go to the main menu when the game ends or restart the game. Like, just all the little things like that. There's still tons of little things I got to do. But we got a lot of the base functionality working for the game. And that's what's cool about this. And that's why I wanted to show you guys. Like I said, there's going to be a pretty good bit of videos coming your guys' way. There's a goal. That's game. So yeah, let me show y'all. We can we can add in as many players as we want, really. So we can spawn players before we press play if we want to, just to see where they're going to be. And it will position them based on the formation type you set. So I've got four. I've got circle, a line, a V-shape, which is pretty much a line. And I've got a grid, which is also pretty good. And you can set how many grid columns there are. So we could do two grid columns and spawn players. And that's pretty good actually i like that um but yeah let me show y'all we can crank this way up let's do 30 let's spawn players i don't like that but so let's do we need more columns there we go and then let's go to the away team crank this up to 30 do grid and how many columns did i do I did five i didn't position them the way i wanted them to that's something I need to fix. I need to be more to the left on their side of the field. So let's do this. Let's do a circle. And let's go back to the home team. And let's do a circle as well. So it's the same. And yeah, so that's what I mean. It's really dynamic. Like we can add in as many players as we want. It positions them pretty decently before you start the game. It'll also, if you don't have, if you don't spawn the players before the scene starts, it'll just spawn them in at runtime. So it's really flexible and it's really dynamic. The way the AI works is like it's constantly, it like it, 
it divides the field up into a grid and I'll show you all what the grid looks like and we can adjust the grid as well. We can set how many grid columns and grid rows. So if we're just going to do five and five and go to the scene view and yeah, so these are all the grid positions. So when the AI is running around, like if the blue team has the ball and they're running downfield, everyone but the guy who's got the ball is going to be picking grid locations and it's going to be running back and forth between grid locations. Yeah, it's really dynamic. In the past, the way we did it was like really rigid and non-flexible. Like we'd have to like set the positions, like the attack position for every player, the defend position for every player. And it was just a real pain. So doing it this way is dramatically better and that's pretty exciting let me show you all the chaos of 30 versus 30 probably should have turned up our the number of grid locations yeah actually let's go do that i think it'll work better so if we go to the game manager and we do like 20 by 20 generate grid let's try this let's see how it's going to be hard to tell i should probably turn it down to like 15 players or so it's chaos but it's oddly fun to do this amount of players because it's just chaos so yeah it's really flexible you can do you can set it up however you won't really and i'm pretty excited about it so i'm gonna put this on my patreon go check it out it is gonna cost money i'm thinking i'm gonna start it at 30 dollars. full disclosure guys i am without a job right now so i really need to make some money i'm broke nigga i'm broke you want to support me please consider purchasing this asset i promise it will be worth it if making a soccer game in unity is something you really want to do I promise this is going to save you a lot of time and headache if you purchase it now i guarantee that you won't have to purchase it in the future you'll get updates for free and yeah so there there's my there's my pitch yeah thank you guys so much for watching really excited to bring you this series like i said it's not going to be the most detailed series you're not going to be able to follow along and make exactly what i've made but you can get pretty far with it it'll pretty much take you up until i start making the ai and then you're kind of on your own a little bit so I do apologize for that, but I gave it my best shot and I was more focused on just making this as rapidly and as good as possible as an asset, as a standalone asset, rather than making the best series I can make. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you very soon.